Minister, regarding the upcoming referendums, your ministerial colleague Catherine Martin recently said that according to the Irish Constitution, a woman's place is in the home. And yesterday, echoing this, you said, and I quote, what we are proposing is to update our constitutional wording to remove any doubt woman's place is wherever she wants it to be. But the Constitution doesn't say that a woman's place is in the home. And in fact, weeks ago, the Electoral Commission, which uh, your government set up explicitly to combat misinformation at election time, confirmed that the Constitution does not say this. And the case law of the Supreme Court is quite clear that that doesn't mean women's place is in the home. It says that the work that women do provides an important protection and tool and support to society and to the common good. So my question is, how can the public take lectures about the dangers of misinformation when your government is constantly spreading misinformation about key issues like this? Mm -hmm. Well, in the first instance, I have to say to you, I've never lectured. That's not my style and I don't intend to start now. Secondly, in terms of, I never made any reference to a, a woman's place being in the home. I never said that. What I actually referenced was, and what's there is a reference to duties in the home. And I was very clear in saying what we are seeking to do here is to recognise that we live in a society where a woman's role can be wherever she chooses that to be, um, wherever she wants that to be, that it's not prescriptive, that it's not one particular place, and equally so. And secondly, I made the reference to the fact that, that families also come in many shapes and sizes today, and the Constitution wants to recognise that as well. But equally so, there's no question of government or anyone lecturing to people. We respect the um, autonomy of each individual. We respect the right of each individual to come forward and to cast their vote, whatever way they would wish to cast that, on the 8th of March. And equally so, I made the the point yesterday that um, Article 46 of the Constitution, way, way back then when it was drafted in 1937, explicitly recognised that there should be there must be an opportunity for a constitution to evolve and to grow as a living document. And that's what we're seeking to do here, as has been done with other amendments. And that's what we're seeking to do. So would you accept that if somebody was to say that a woman's place is in the home, that is incorrect and misinformation? Do do you accept that? My view is, and I said it yesterday, indeed, I believe I said it also at the the government uh, launch after the cabinet meeting um, some time ago when, when this was agreed, that what we're talking about here is constitutional catch-up. We're but, talking but about I'm, a so, I'm woman. sorry, Minister, that's no, kind of not, not what no, I asked. Again, I, we're, we're talking about the specific issue of is, is a woman's place being in the home, is somebody claiming that that's what the Constitution says, misinformation? Because if, if you don't accept that, then I don't see the purpose of having an electoral commission which was set up to try and adjudicate on such matters in the public arena, you know? Well, again, I'm saying to you that I never made those comments. Uh, The comments I made were that a a woman's place is wherever she might choose it to be. I I haven't heard otherwise from other people, so it wouldn't be appropriate for me to comment on that. I'm very clear on my view that a woman um, today has a right to choose where her place might be. Thank you.